Hi, my name is Nikayla Knowlton, and the experiment I did was called yeast and sugar. Question and hypothesis. Question, does the amount or type of sugar affect the amount of gas created into the balloon? Hypothesis, yes, the amount of sugar most likely would affect how much gas is transmitted into the balloon. It may affect the balloon by expanding. For example, the more sugar, the more sugar and yeast I put into the, to, into the experiment, the more gas will be created. The less yeast or sugar I put into the experiment, the less it will, be, the less it will expand. Result. My hypothesis was correct. The more yeast and sugar added to the container made the balloon expand and produce gas, which made the balloon expand as well. The less yeast and sugar added the gas, the less sugar added, the, the less gas will be created. Materials. The materials I used for this project experiment were balloons, yeast, any type of sugars, a reposable container of some sort, such as a see-through plastic bottle, warm water, a teaspoon, a measuring cup, and anything to measure how wide the balloon would or has expanded. This concludes the materials you need to make this experiment work. This is a picture I got from YouTube. Procedure. To make the first thing I did was get a reclosable bottle. Pour any amount of yeast, but typically I would only use a spoonful. Next, you add any amount of sugar, but I use a teaspoon, and then put it into the container. Then add about 30 milliliters of water, of warm water, to the container as well. Lastly, you put the balloon over the cap of the bottle and wait for the balloon to expand over time. This is also another picture I got from YouTube of the experiment. And these are two pictures that were taken during class. Uh, this is a picture of my balloon expanding over time. This is what it looked like. And this is a, a picture of um, me doing my experiment. This concludes my project.